<clears throat> hey guys, I'm here. Just gonna walk you through real quickly how to get the Dragon Bone Smasher. Uh, I know a lot of people tend to use this weapon, but for those of you who might not know, it's relatively easy to get. Uh, first off, it is going to be in the Archstone of the Digger King, and you need to be in pure white world tendency, as you can see I've got right here. So what we're going to do is, after the Flame Lurker battle, which is a relatively tough battle, uh, you're going to go to that Archstone. Now you find yourself in the Flame Lurker's... Uh, arena fight here, and going forward would be your Dragon God boss battle. So we're just going to run down here, do 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 do. You might want to make sure you've got enough equip load to actually, or sorry, uh, item load to actually pick it up, which looks like I do. Give this guy a minute to do his little punch. And then you're gonna run to the left to listen there too. But here it is. Nice and easy. You see a lot of people using that in PvP. They're running strength builds. I don't really run strength builds, but its requirements are pretty steep. You got 30 strength. But keep in mind if you two-hand it. You actually only need, uh, let's see here, uh, 20. You would need 20 strength because it gives 1.5 times the value of your actual strength if you two-hand it. That's how you can get around a lot of the strength requirements for weapons. You just gotta two-hand them. So, that's that. And I hope this might have uh, helped out somebody who might be curious as to how to get it. Uh, you can also use that Dragon Man Smasher then to go and get some pure Greystone, I believe, from an NPC if you're in pure white world tendency. And that is right after the spider arc. Alright, with that, I bid you all farewell. Have a good one.